Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you much for being here. So today's video is going to be something that gets asked quite a bit and it's when you've got thick hair, how can you thin it without sort of taking all the life out of it? And there's just some different techniques in which you can do it. You can use your sort of straight blade scissors where you are sort of taking the texture, uh, taking the weight away from the length, but that's not really helping the bulk in here. And that's why I teamed up with the guys at Alpha Italia because these were the game changer for me and it's the Evo scissors. So let me just clip this hair out of the way. And when we're cutting bobs, obviously the hair, the ears uh, are here. So we lose a lot of hair around the front. So we don't really necessarily need to take weight around here unless someone has got loads of hair. It's normally all of this weight in here, but what you see a lot of people doing is really thinning it out. And then you're just putting loads of bulk into the, into sort of like the, uh, Near the, near the scalp, I suppose, and it just fe it still feels thick, but the ends are thin. That's not what you want to do. So when it comes to thinning hair, or taking the bulk away, but still maintaining shape, you don't, you don't really want to be... So these are like my soft cuts, and they're what traditionally people think are thinning scissors. And what somebody would do is probably like thin, thin, thin right into that root area but you lose a lot of density through here because there's so many teeth there, you're taking away quite a bit of hair. You think with that, compared to like a straight blade, those gaps, there's a lot of gaps, but there's still a hell of a lot of teeth there. Let me just move that to there so you can see. There's still a lot of teeth there, which will be cutting a lot of the weight away from the hair, but it will take away a lot of length which is why when working with the Evo scissors, you can see there isn't as many gaps. Yes, the, the teeth are thicker, but so are the gaps, they're thicker. So we're not actually taking away that much um, length. We're, we're more customizing it with texture or we're putting in scaffolding. We can take length away, but when we start to take length away, it's when we're sort of more on the ends and we speed up, so we're taking more hair off. But traditionally what people would do, they would go into the root and they'd just cut like that. And they'd take weight away from here. Whereas when we know when we are layering, we're elevating. So you can elevate. And then what I, type, I like to do, get that section halfway down and then just pull away. We've maintained the length. We haven't got any lines, but it just takes away that unnecessary bulk in, in a lot of people's hair. So let's do that again. So let's just section across here, straight section. We're going to elevate, because we know elevate, elevation creates softness. And rather than going straight, I'm just turning my blade slightly angled and then I'll just pick that hair out of my hands like that. And then the reason I'm doing that, because I know how much hair I've got left in that section, because it's all come, it's, I'm pulling it out of my hand. Whereas if I'd have left it all in, say, and done that, 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 that. You don't know how much hair you're cutting because it's all still there. And when you do that, oh my God, there's a lot of hair. Whereas when you did it my way, where we go and we take it away, we can actually see and control it that little bit more and not affect the shape at all. So again, I wouldn't work on the top section of hair because we don't want there to be any short pieces visible if, we, if we're not working with a lot of texture in the haircut. If we work with a lot of texture in the haircut on the surface of the hair, no problem. You can go on the top and we can do exactly the same. But because a lot of the bulk is normally underneath, that's where we want to go. So again, elevate, halfway, halfway halfway and then pulling it out of my hand until I've got no hair left. 
but look how much hair is actually left there in comparison. And it just frees up all of that, taking away that bulk that's in there, but not collapsing the shape at all. And then there we go, that just sits over the top. And I mean, if you could feel it, you would, you'd understand. And you've just got straight blades. What we'll do is again, we'll elevate up and then we'll just nibble into there. And you could do that, but you can see I didn't have the control that I had with the Evos being able to get that hair and take it out of my fingers because I'm not actually gripping onto the hair at all with these because I'm just because if I was I'd be I'd be cutting into the section whereas with these I'm just literally as if I'm putting scaffolding into that hair but I couldn't actually take it out of my fingers but then if I do that you can see all that hair that's come out still doesn't collapse the shape but you have just haven't got as much control with these as you do with the Evo scissors so that's why I'd heavily advise if you get the Evo scissors. And what I'll try and work on is, I've seen a few of you have said some of the haircuts I've done, the, the, the Evo scissors are vital. And they are, to be honest. Um, we've used sort of just like the single straight blade scissors forever, but things are moving on. People want different haircuts. I mean, look at us now, we've, we used to just do foils. Now we do balayage, we do ombres, we do root melts, root shadows, root taps. Coloring has moved on with all different techniques and different brushes. Years ago, we just had a brush. Now people are using power painters, paint brushes, little brushes, makeup brushes to create color. Whereas cutting, it just got stuck in one place with just a straight blade scissor and I suppose thinners. A hairdressers, it was always seen, oh no, you can't use thinners because you're cheating. Whereas it's just a different technique. But if you wanted to remove bulk in a really controlled manner, the Evo scissors, because you're putting them in and you can actually take that hair out of your fingers so you don't cut it again. So yeah, if you found this video helpful, I'd love to know in the comments down below. Um, and if you did, or you're gonna use it, or you wanna buy some Evo scissors, hit the thumbs up button. I will try and work on a discount code or something like that. But I do know if you buy the full range, or if you buy two pairs, or is it all three pairs? Something, if you buy two or you buy three, you get, you get free education. So you can come to one of the Alan Howard uh, distribution centers, or I can come to you if a salon buys the scissors. So if it's something that you're thinking, oh, actually, I do want to, for 2023, upgrade my gear, 100%, mess your comment down below, and I'll try and work out with the guys. I've got a meeting there on Tuesday, Wednesday this week. I will see what we can do a bit about a discount code or something like that for, for you guys watching. And uh, yeah, we'll do that. And then if you buy them, you can come to a free education session with me, which would be amazing. So yeah, hope that helped. If it did, I'd love to know. And until next time, I'll see you on the next video.